What about diet? Is there, I, I saw you played with in, intermittent fasting. You fast? Does that I help? with everything. You played with <laughs> well, the things you played, what's been most beneficial to the your ability to mentally focus on a thing and just mental, mental productivity and happiness? You still fast? Yeah, I still fast, uh, but uh, I do intermittent fasting. But really what it means at the end of the day is I skip breakfast. Yeah. So I do uh, 18-6 roughly by default when I'm in my steady state. If I'm traveling or doing something else, I will break the rules. But in my steady state, I do 18-6. Uh, so I eat only from 12 to 6. Uh, not a hard rule, and I break it often, but that's my default. And then, um, yeah, I've done a bunch of uh, random experiments. For the most part right now, uh, where I've been for the last year and a half, I want to say, is I'm um, plant-based or plant-forward. I heard plant-forward. It sounds better. Mean exactly? I don't actually know what the difference is, but it right. sounds better in my mind. Uh, but it just means I, I prefer uh, plant-based food. and uh, Raw or cooked? or I prefer cooked uh, and plant-based. So plant-based... Uh, forgive me, I don't actually know how wide the category of plant <laughs> entails. Well, plant like, based just means that you're not uh, like militant about it, and like, you can flex, yeah. and uh, you just prefer to eat plants. And you know, you're not making, you're not trying to influence other people. And if someone is, you come to someone's house party and they serve you a steak that they're really proud of, you will yeah. eat it. Yes, uh, <laughs> right. It's so just you're not like, Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, that's. Um, I'm the flip side of that, but I'm very sort of flexible. Have you tried doing one meal a day? Uh, I have uh, accidentally, not consistently, <laughs> but I've accidentally had that. I don't, I don't like it. I think yeah. it makes me feel uh, not good. It's too, it's too much, too much of a hit. Yeah. And uh, so currently, I have about two meals a day, twelve and six. I, I do that nonstop. I'm doing it now. Mm -hmm. I do it one meal a day. Okay. It's, it's interesting. It's an interesting feeling. Have you ever fasted longer than a day? Yeah, I've, I've done a bunch of water fasts because I was curious what happens. What happened? Uh, <laughs> Anything interesting? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I mean, you know, what's interesting is that you're hungry for two days. And then I, starting day three or so, you're not hungry. <laughs> it's like such a weird feeling because you haven't eaten in a few days and you're yeah. not hungry. Isn't that weird? Is it's that really weird. One, one of the many weird things about human biology. Yeah. It figures something out. It finds finds another source of energy or something like that yeah. or, or, or uh, relaxes the system. I don't know how yeah, that works. Yeah, the body is like, you're hungry, you're hungry, and then it just gives up. It's like, okay, I guess we're fasting now. There's yeah. nothing. <laughs> and then it just kind of like focuses on trying to make you not hungry uh, and you know not feel the, the damage of that and uh, trying to give you some space to figure out the food situation. <laughs> so are you still to this day most productive uh, at night? I would say I am, but it is really hard to maintain my PhD schedule. Um, especially when I was say working at Tesla and so on, it's a non-starter. Uh, so, but even now, like, you know, people want to meet for various events. They, society lives in a certain period of time yeah. and you sort of have to like work so with that. It's, it's hard to like do a social thing and then after that return and do work. Yeah. It's just really hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I try when I do social things, I try not to do too, uh, too much drinking so I can return and uh, continue doing work. Yeah. Um, but at, at Tesla, is there is there convergence? Like not Tesla, but any any company, is there convergence towards a schedule, or is there more? <laughs> is, is that how humans behave when they collaborate? I need to learn about this. Do yeah, they, do they try to keep mm -hmm. a, a consistent schedule where you're all awake at the same time? I mean, I do try to create a routine, and I cr try to create a steady state in which I'm uh, comfortable in. Uh, so I have a morning routine, I have a day routine. I try to keep things to a steady state, and um, Things are predictable, and then you can sort of just like your body just sort of like sticks to that. And if you try to stress that a little too much, it will create, uh, you know, when you're traveling and you're dealing with jet lag, you're not able to really ascend to, you know, where you need to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's weird too mind. about humans with the habits and stuff. Uh, what are your thoughts on work life balance throughout a human lifetime? So, Tesla in part was known for sort of pushing people to their limits in terms of what they're able to do, in terms of what they're uh, trying to do, in terms of how much they work, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I will say Tesla gets a little too much uh, bad rep for this, mm -hmm. because what's happening is Tesla, is a, it's a bursty environment. Uh, so I would say the baseline, uh, my only point of reference is Google, where I've interned three times and I saw what it's like inside Google and, and DeepMind. Um, I would say the baseline is higher than that, but then there's a punctuated equilibrium where once in a while there's a fire and uh, someone, like people work really hard. And so it ha it's spiky and bursty. And then all the stories get collected. At About the, the bursts. Yeah. And then it gives the appearance of like total insanity, but actually it's just a bit more intense environment. <laughs> and there are fires and sprints. And so I think, uh, you know, definitely though, I, I would say um, 
it's a more intense environment than something you would get at Google. But you, in your personal, forget all of that, just in your own personal life, um, what do you think about the happiness of a human being, uh, a brilliant person like yourself, about finding a balance between work and life, or is it such a thing, a, 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 not a good thought experiment? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think balance is good, <laughs> but I also love to have sprints that are out of distribution. And that's when I think I've been pretty uh, creative and um, as well. So sprints out of distribution means that most of the time you you have a yeah. quote unquote balance. I have balance most of the time. But I like being obsessed with something once in a while. Once in a while is what? Once a week, once a month, once a year? Yeah, probably like say once a month or something, yeah. And that's when we get a new GitHub repo from Andre? Yeah, that's when you like really care about a problem. It must exist. This will be awesome. You're obsessed with it. And now you can't just do it on that day. You need to pay the fixed cost of getting into the groove. Yeah. And then you need to stay there for a while. And then society will come and they will try to mess with you and they will try to distract you. Yeah. Yeah. The worst thing is like a person who's like, I just need five minutes of your time. Yeah. This is the cost of that is not five minutes. Yes. And society needs to change how it thinks about <laughs> just five minutes of your time. <laughs> right. It's, it's never, it's never just one minute, just, just 30, just a quick What's thing. the big deal? Why are you being yeah. so? Yeah. No, 